It's our top local story at noon. Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sonic is live right in the neighborhood where she just spoke with the young victim's mother. Catherine? Yeah, and that shooting, I can tell you, Danielle, happened right here on this front porch, again in the Silver Lake section on Ralph Street. We're told by the family members and the mother that a group of kids were out there on that front porch when they believe the gunman pulled up inside a car. Police at this point aren't releasing any details at all, but according to that victim's family and according to that victim's mother, a teenager was shot multiple times. Her son, he is 16 years old, and he goes by the name Billy. We're choosing not to release his full name by request of that family member, but he does go to Hope High School again. He's 16 years old, and family also tells us they believe this is in retaliation for a fight earlier in the night when two people were tased outside of that home. So two people were tased earlier in the night outside of the home. Some shots were also fired at that point, but no one was hit, and police were called in, and that's when the victim's family says the suspects came back to get their retaliation. Right after the cops left after that, they came back. One kid went walking down the street, two got, hopped out the car and shot at Billy. I was just sitting on the porch, me and my mom in the house, and I heard shots. I thought it was fireworks, to tell you the truth. And family tells us that victim, again, Billy, was shot about five times, suffered gunshot wounds to his kidney, his intestines, and his rib cage. Surprisingly, right now, he is in stable condition at Hasbro Children's Hospital. Police at this point say they have no suspects in custody. So now we have a developing story out of Providence. Reporting live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Catherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.